Hey everyone, so I'm coming at you with a recipe video. This is for my make of a muesli breakfast bread type thing. There's these morning rounds that I'm obsessed with that they sell at Costco that are about seven or eight points and I wanted to make my own version so I hope you enjoy. They turned out awesome. My friend tested them and she loves them as well so let me know if you try it down below in the comments section and let's get into right, the video. So the ingredients you'll need for this recipe are all-purpose flour, or you can use self-rising, but if you're using all-purpose, you will need some baking powder and some salt. I like to use Himalayan pink sea salt, but that is up to you. Um, like I said, if you have self-rising flour, you can eliminate these two items. Then we need non-fat plain Greek yogurt. And then you'll need some raisins, about two tablespoons worth, and some roasted, salted sunflower seeds, some ground cinnamon, and then one to two packages of stevia. Or you can use sugar or a different thing for that, but this is just what I'm using. All right, so let's get into making these babies. All right, first thing you're going to need is a one cup measure. You're going to go ahead and measure out one cup of flour. I'm going to show you how to make your own self-rising flour. If you have self-rising flour, you'll just need one cup of that, or you'll need one cup of flour and one and a half teaspoons of baking powder. This is just gonna make help it rise, okay? Keep the flour out, because you'll need that for later. And then you'll add a pinch of salt. And then you're gonna mix up the fl those flour ingredients just because you want it to be kind of together. <laughs> since it's supposed to be like a self-rising flour. I find my bagels, like when I use this for the bagel recipe, they turn out just fine, so I'm not too worried about that. All right, then you're gonna take your one cup measure again, and you're going to get your non-fat plain Greek yogurt. It is important that it is plain, especially for Weight Watchers, that it's the plain non-fat, because that is zero smart points, and also that it's Greek. I don't know for sure, but I'm pretty, I've had some comments where I don't think people use Greek and it, the dough turned out too wet. So that's why this is important that you're using the right kind of yogurt. I get mine from Costco in a three pack and it's like awesome because I make this recipe often for different things. Like I said, it's very similar to my bagel recipe. This is just kind of giving it a little tweak into something else. So that one's done. Go get another yogurt. All right, so once you've got a cup, you're gonna add that to the mixture. Like a quarter of a teaspoon of cinnamon. Just because I want the dough to have like a cinnamon flavor to it, I'm also gonna do like a cinnamon swirl in there. So you're gonna take your cutting board and sprinkle a little flour on here. So if you have a rolling pin, it's nice to have it for this kind of recipe. You're gonna wanna flour your rolling pin first because um, if you don't do it now, it gets hard to do it later when your hands are sticky. And I'm gonna flour my hands a little bit. Set that back aside. All right, then we're going to go ahead and mold the dough a little bit. I like to kind of get it all together with a fork first. I just find a fork seems to be what works best for me. But whatever works for you, you just want the dough to incorporate to a good consistency before putting it on the <coughs> cutting board. And this isn't the, like, <laughs> it's kind of hard not to be messy with this. So I know I'm gonna get flour everywhere, but that's just fine. Kind of like looks really flaky at first, but once you get it all together and you knead it together, it's like perfect. So, and it's kind of all mostly together. I kind of go in with my hands quick. This is why it's important to flour your hands. I still find I get stuck to half the time. There's still quite a bit of flour in the bottom here, so I'm just trying to get it out before putting it on the pan. There's these things called morning rounds that are like 
one of my very favorite breakfast things, but they're like seven points for a morning round. So that's where I got the idea to do like a muesli, a cinnamon raisin muesli type inspired breakfast out of this. So you're just going to go ahead and kind of roll this up, knead it out a little bit. I find if I don't do this as long, my um, bagels or whatever I'm using this dough for doesn't kind of fluff up quite as much and it's kind of nice when it's a little fluffy because I like to toast them and I'm sure I'll be toasting these as well. So I kind of just roll it up a couple times and knead it out. Her wine? No, it's wine. I don't know what you're asking, buddy. It's wine. Her tablet? No, it's wine. Her swine? Yeah. Will you go show me what it is? So you're going to go ahead and roll this out really good. Because I'm going to put all the toppings in the middle, roll it up, and then we're going to roll out each one. You'd like this to be pretty square because we want the pieces of this to be even. So as square as you can get it. It's not that big of a deal, but it will make a difference later. What are you doing, buddy? Hey, why don't you get the Play-Doh out? You can make Mommy something. Play-Doh. Uh, food? Sure, make me some food. All right, so I'm gonna just say that that's good. Hello. <laughs> All right, so this is when we're gonna use Hello. the stevia and cinnamon. I'm actually gonna mix up two stevias. I like my cinnamon stuff to be sweet for the most part, so I'm going to take two stevias, Hello. Edison, and one tablespoon of cinnamon. Hello. And just stir Hello. That. Edison, can you move, please? And then just mix that up. So then once I have that, I'm just gonna kind of sprinkle this well on here. It's gonna kind of get it to have a swirl through the little breads that we make. And it's not going to be too bitter from cinnamon if you have the sweetener in it. Okay. So you don't have to use all the mixture. I'm probably only going to use half. I'll save it for next time. And then we're going to use two tablespoons of sunflower seeds and two tablespoons of raisins. What we're going to do is roll it up. Edison, get the Play-Doh out from over there and make mommy something. Just roll this up. It doesn't have to be perfect because we're not keeping it in a roll. Okay, we're just kind of doing this to get everything kind of into each portion. We're going to have six pieces of bread. So what I'm going to do is cut it into six. I'm going to cut it in half. And then... Oh. <laughs> this one's a little small, but that's okay. Alright. So I'm actually going to get a new cutting board. For this part, I'm gonna just go like this. And what we're gonna do is take each one of these and re-roll it out. So it's gonna be more like a bread. Okay. This is gonna give it kind of more of a. Oh. Oh. 
Oh, look. Me? It's me and not. Yeah, it is. And that's me. And that's me. And that's me. And one She's going to make them into little breads. One and cool. Like that. And we're going to put them on a pan to bake. And if it's sticky, just make sure you get a bit of extra flour on there. Like I said, we're just rolling them out. These are inspired by, I think they're called morning rounds. And yeah, so it's gonna look kind of like that. All right, so here they are on the pan. They're gonna be three Smart Points piece. Um, you're just gonna have a lightly sprayed pan and you're gonna put them in 400 for about 10 to 15 minutes. When I do bagels, I do 15 minutes, but I'm assuming these will cook, cook faster. So just keep an eye and I'll let you know how long mine took when they are done. Yeah. So excited they have minutes so in the baking and I just have to say that these things smell amazing. My house smells so good. I cannot wait for them to get out. This is 14 Yay. minutes. They feel awesome. I have a couple ideas of things to try with these. Like maybe a French toast or I probably will want to toast it with peanut butter. There will be a bunch of different things I want to try. But these look really awesome. Three smart points each. Can't really go wrong. And they smell amazing.